too many videos. All right, so quickly, let's take a look at getting into factoring this. So mainly, if you guys remember when we're factoring, the main important thing was you need to write that as a product of two factors. And the one thing I noticed about this trinomial is that I have a number in front of my uh, x squared, my um, squared term. So therefore, what that tells me is to help me figure this problem out, to help me write this as a product of two numbers, I'm going to utilize uh, this, this x, and up top, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a times c, and then bottom, I'm going to write b. And I'm going to write the multiplication up here and the dot here. So before, we usually just wrote C, but when that was the case, the reason why is because A always equals 1. So 1, so one times C was always just equal to C, so we kept it in. Now we have A times C. Since A is greater than 1, I multiply my two numbers on top, negative 12, and then take my B, which is 4. And now I need to determine what two numbers multiply to give me negative 12, but add to give me a positive 4. And... So, uh, right, okay. Today. Um, so I'm looking at these two numbers and I'm thinking I can have a positive six and a negative two. Now we gotta make sure we remember, now what we next, next wanna do is we can't say it's gonna be x plus six times x minus two because that is not the same. Remember as a product, okay, Remember, as uh, when I say factoring, we're writing this as a product of its two factors. The mathematical equivalent has not changed. The mathematical, um, uh, I'm losing my train of thought, but uh, not train of thought, but um, the value of the mathematical expression does not change. This does not multiply to give me that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite my middle terms. So when I rewrite my middle terms, now this has the same value. All I did was replace a 4x with a 6x minus 2x uh, minus 2. Now what I can do is I can factor each one of these terms. All right, so I'm going to factor the first two terms and the last two terms. When I factor the first two terms, I look at what is a 6x squared plus a 6x. What do those have in common? Well, these two terms, they both have in common a 6 and an x. So when I factor out a 6x, and pretty much what I'm thinking of is, you know, if I, when I divide out a 6x, what I'm left with is an x plus 1. All right, because 6x evenly divides into 6x squared plus 6x. When it divides into it, my result is an x plus 1. Here, I can now divide out a negative 2 times x plus 1. So it's important from this point on, so since I divide out a negative 2, because that's the only thing that uh, these two have in common, is a negative 2. When I factor out my negative 2, now I'm left with an x plus 1 and an x plus 1. I can now factor those out to give me x plus 1 times, after I factor these two out, I'm left with a 6x minus 2. And that is how you factor when you have an a greater than 1.